The issue with home test kits is that you get a high degree of false negatives, and a false negative is much more dangerous than a false positive, and that is why persons with a negative test with a home kit should have it validated by a PCR test. Minister of Health Terence Dialsing said the varying results given by the COVID-19 home test kits occur for a multiple of reasons. While the kits are inexpensive and return results in a shorter period than PCR tests, Mr. Dialsing said they are not as accurate. We have noticed in trials with these kits that they get much more accurate results when the kits are when the swabs are properly used or used by a professional as opposed to a person at home who may be in a rush. He also noted an issue when testing asymptomatic patients. They are good for testing the symptomatic persons and if you get a positive you could rely on it. But the issue is if you get a negative test you need to have that confirmed by a PCR. And that is the global practice around the world. Still, Minister Dial Singh encouraged people to use the home test kits. But he said those who want to use the kits at home should first seek approval from the Chemistry, Food and Drug Division. Once the kit is registered in their home country of manufacture, that is basically all they look at. So it's a very simple process and we just ask all importers, we have made it as easy as possible. We want to encourage home testing. He confirmed this country has used 180 antigen tests throughout the system. Kimberly D'Souza, TDT News.